Hello IB English students and welcome to the video for quarter four, week five, days one and two. This video is for all students, regardless of whether you are in class or you were absent. As a reminder, everything you say, do or type is recorded, so please remember to keep it school appropriate. And as always, there is no saving, downloading, or taking pictures of our class ever. If you look at the agenda for today, you're going to continue reading Watchmen and work on that final reading check, which is listed under this week's module. Uh, I'm going to review the suggested reading pacing guide and assignment with you. And I wanted to provide you with an example of how to complete the second part of your final reading check. So again, you have one week to finish reading Watchmen. Uh, your third reading check is due on May 21st. And remember that the format has changed in some ways, which I'll go over with you quickly. Right, the first part is the same, just like you've done in the other two. Right, Just make sure you're using materials from chapters 9 to 12. Uh, for the second part, it says select one page from chapters 9 to 12, but not the same page as above. And discuss how the author uses stylistic devices to convey an important message or theme about one of the line of inquiry topic areas. Um, so you're still doing very similar to what you did up here, right? You're just kind of adding in another element where you connect that uh, use of devices to a specific line of inquiry topic area. Uh, and you can follow these same bullet points underneath to kind of help guide you in that process. I also wanted to give you some suggestions. So if you take a look at this, I'm using literally the last page of the comic. So as I'm using this in my example, please do not use the same page uh, in yours. You should be able to find something else to work with. But the approach that I would suggest is, you know, these five kind of steps, right? First, find one scene, you know, one to two pages in chapters nine to 12 that you know is meant to convey a message to the reader. Like it's obvious that the author is trying to get some kind of a message to you as the reader. Write out what that message is and make it as clear as possible, right? Alan Moore wants me to learn this, or Alan Moore wants readers to understand that. This is all informal at this point, so don't worry about me and I, okay? The third question is probably the most important. You have to then ask yourself, how is that message linked to a line of inquiry topic area, right? They're all listed for you in the directions Right. How is that message linked to identity or culture, creativity, communication, perspective, transformation, or representation? Um, then the fourth one is look over the scene for the use of devices that are present and then ask yourself, how does the use of those devices help the author convey that message? Right. How are those two things working in concert? And the last thing you want to do is just write a clear statement explaining how the author's use of those devices helps, well, it says him or her, but it's him, uh, helps him convey his message to the reader. Okay. So an example of what that looks like, if you are, and sorry, spoiler alert, right? But this is the last page of the comic. Um, so going through those five steps that I just outlined, Right. The last few panels of the comic are what I chose to use where Seymour, the guy who's wearing the uh, green and yellow shirt, um, he shows that Dr. Manhattan is right about uh, history repeating itself and that nothing ever ends. Um, the lesson is that everything will happen again. History repeats itself. Right. Very simple. The link to excuse me, the link to the line of inquiry topic, right, is cultural anti-Russian sentiment and a lack of communication led to where the U.S. was at the start of the novel and where it will return at the end of the novel, right? So I've found two connections to this idea of like history repeating itself, right? If you are living in a culture where you're anti-Russian, anti-Chinese, anti-anything, right, anti-any other group, that is going to lead to, you know, uh, these situations where things never get 100% fixed and it's hard to kind of come to a reconciliation with that other person. Um, that's also true of a lack of communication, right? If there was more communication between the U.S. and Russia, then maybe I think Alan Moore is making the argument that these events would not happen, right? And they wouldn't be caught in this kind of vicious cycle. Um, it also occurs to me, hold on a second. Uh, you might also make the argument, 
why can't I move this? Sorry, hold on. No. Okay, you know what? It did work, but the wrong time. Um, it also occurs to me that there might be a connection to this idea, you know, everything repeats itself, nothing ever ends, um, to the idea of transformation, right? You know, in, again, sorry, spoiler alert, right? But the whole point of uh, doing everything that um, Adrian Veidt does is because he wants to bring on this transformation, right? And so you can kind of make the argument, especially with the way that the book ends, that, you know, not all transformations are actually what they seem, you know, or what looks like a transformation is actually just, you know, the same thing kind of happening again, but we're so far removed from it that we're incapable of seeing it again. So your job for number three is to kind of make that connection to one of those line of inquiry topics. Number four is to then kind of like talk about what are all the devices that you find in there. These are not all of them, but these are some of the devices I found. Um, so bolded words in the voice bubbles uh, to show emphasis on important words, right? Diction. Uh, when you look at them, you know, um, burger and boar, uh, it's burger and borscht is what he's about to say. Um, where is it? And then there's a lot of the stuff that he says, uh, a lot of the words that he uses that are supposed to be important that you're supposed to notice are in bold and they have lots of anti-Russian sentiment. Um, the use of moment to moment transitions to capture important actions that are happening during the discussion, right? For example, the boss's clear distaste for Russians, the ketchup falling on Seymour's shirt here, um, the symbolism of Seymour's shirt and its connection to the comedian's pin from the start of the comic, right? That should, that image should look familiar to you. Um, the aspect to aspect transition of panels six to seven, right? Where this is, um, kind of like a far shot and then it's closing in or zooming in to show you this really important kind of moment. Um, and while highlighting that symbolism, um, and the use of allusion to the theme of John Cole's quote, the very last quote of the book, uh, right? That the world will change, but you can't stop natural forces of death or human nature. Uh, so then putting that all into like one kind of concise statement, number five, Alan Moore uses bolded words, diction, in voice bubbles, moment to moment and aspect to aspect transitions, symbolism and illusion to convey the message that the United States culture of anti-Russian sentiment and a lack of communication will result in history repeating itself. And this cycle is natural and unstoppable, right? Unless major things change, unless people change the way they communicate, unless people stop constantly looking for one other group or one other country um, to always be in opposition with, you're going to end up repeating the same mistakes. Okay. So again, like you may want to use this, my sample while you're working on the page that you select. Again, you cannot use this last page. You should be able to find something else from chapters nine to 12. All right, and that's it. Thank you for your uh, for watching this. If you uh, just a reminder, right? This is due. Your third reading check is due May twenty first. If you have questions, student support is available from seven forty five to eight forty five, and the Wednesday academic check in times are listed here below. I hope you enjoy reading the rest of the comic, and I look forward to seeing your work.